Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terenda left healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Look at you! It's good to meet someone who uses brains first, and brawn second. Ugh, damn it all! I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's Herald, with the Goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabras will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Didn't you pick a great spot to do your research? I know what you scholar types are like. When it comes to your intellectual curiosity, you just don't see danger. And in the world wound, we got more danger than anywhere else. You should be glad we still got scholars who want to come here to study our enemies, and not just stay home to count the spots on butterflies. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. To summarize, there are three of us, with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon.
I'm gone. The road awaits. Who's there? Friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back to the surface. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when... when... I can scarcely believe it. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Durandalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now? <sighs>
we've seen how powerless they truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier, and I also possess some knowledge of magic. Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. I will help where I can. Well? Yeah. 
Not waver! Attack! Save the last one for me. Follow my steps. No glory without risk! The light takes you! Aim carefully. They will break against our resolve. Let us be careful. Tread lightly.
I'm gone. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. When do I? Did you find it? Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait. They might know what's going on up there. If things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabras. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We are the underground crusaders, the children of the crusade's finest. Sadly, underground crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> You just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. But we call ourselves Neethers. No matter what you call us, it's not gonna stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. In Canabras, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. He thinks we're standing by until the moment we're needed, and when we emerge on the surface and save the day, all the people will see how good we are and they'll love us for it. Yeah, he leaves that last part out when he talks about it, of course, but it's easy enough to read between the lines. This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this, trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. This is where the relics of the First Crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. And that our lives are not lived in vain. Oh, the first Crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. That's none of your bit. 
We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame, and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Yes. There are other ways up, but they are far from here, and after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. Until then, the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, the young ones in our tribe lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. It came here with its owner a long time ago. 50,000 gongs, to be precise. Seventy years ago, in Uplander time. 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock. And no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. 
That might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan! Watch your tongue. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? What? You want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Let us bide our time. Impossible. Follow my steps. We should move. 